Hello and welcome to this video showing you how to install a mod manually from the Paradox Plaza. Now it's not quite as straightforward as my previous video of installing a mod manually where it's just drag and drop, but it's also not that much more complicated. First step is on the mod page you need to go to this little arrow next to the subscribe button and then you can manually download. You can also manually download a previous version of the mod if you happen to need it, but for us we're just going to click manual download. This will then spin for a little bit and there we have our rather unhelpfully named folder. I'm going to show you what to do with that in a second but we'll just click OK. First navigate to where the folder downloaded. I've got it here in this downloads folder and what we're going to do here is we're just going to right click it and then go to extract all. If you have something like 7zip you can go and use that but if you have something like 7zip I assume that you already know that. So I'm going to click extract all, we're just going to click extract and once it eventually goes through everything, we can move on to the next stage. Right, so once that finishes, it should pop up and then you'll see that, unlike the previous video I had with installation, instead of having just a .mod file and another file with a bunch of stuff in it, instead you have this descriptor.mod file and then all of these other folders. What we're going to want to do, first of all, is just organize things a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go folders, create a new one just because this is the princes of darkness mod I'm just going to call it princes and we're going to chuck all of this inside here anything that isn't a descriptor.mod file it's going to go inside there there are other files that can sit outside but right now we're just going to go for simplicity so everything's in the princes uh, one except from the .mod file that we're just going to simply rename we're going to rename it to princes.mod now we're going to have to open up the .mod file in Notepad++ or Notepad or your favorite text imaging software and then we're going to do a, just a small amount of editing. If you load it up in Notepad++ you should see something like this, which all looks fairly okay. However, we need to add one line to it in order to get it to work. This line we're going to add is path equals mod forward slash princes. What does this do? Well, once we save it up, what this is doing is effectively telling it where can I find this mod that you've installed? Like, where can I find all of the files for this mod? So, what we're going to do next now that we've done this. So we have the .mod file edited. We have all the other things put in a folder. What we need to do now is follow the process from a previous video and move the files to where they need to be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up this PC, Documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 3, and we're going to check that there is a mod folder there. If there is not a mod folder, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a mod folder, which you can just go in here, you can just go new, you can go folder, and name it mod, as we did for the Prince's one here. And then we just drag these two things there, we drag it to the mod folder, and you should see that they are now sitting in here. I have previously done this before with the Princes of Darkness mod, which is why I named it slightly differently, but it's the same thing. You can name it whatever you like. If you wanted to name this, you know, Fish, you could name it Fish. It would work just as well as you, if you named it something relevant. Right, the next thing that you need to do is load up the launcher for Crusader Kings 3. It should be noted that the method I'm using works with the Steam version of the game, the Game Pass version of the game does require some additional work. Once you've loaded up the launcher, what you want to do is you want to go to Playset. You want to add a new playset. We're going to name this one Princes, just so that everything's as it is in our folders. We're going to go for Create. So we've created a new playset. We're going to add mods. We can see that we have a new Princes of Darkness mod. I'm not entirely sure which one it is because uh, they both say Princes of Darkness because I have two versions of it. We're going to choose the top one and add it to playset and then we're going to go done and then we should be able to see that I have a new one called princes here and then we can click play and it will run. Now this mod is a little bit outdated but the premise should be the same and once the game loads up you should see that it will all be a little bit rebranded with all of its vampire goodness. So 
Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please consider leaving a like or a comment. If it didn't help you, let me know what exactly wasn't working and we'll see if we can get a video that will fit your circumstance and what exactly you need to do in order to get things working and get the mods running. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.